can't believe it's 2022. Is it 2022 or is it 2022? I don't know if you guys have seen that meme yet, but this year's starting off and it just feels like 2020 all over again. But today I am excited to talk to you about my 21 favorites of 2021. 2021 was a hard year, but it was also the best year that I've had of my life so far. Um, so I'm gonna go into some of my favorites and these are like products that I used all year or products that I just will repurchase and reuse for the rest of my life. The number one favorite that I have to talk about is our engagement. If you guys haven't seen it already, I did put up an engagement vlog. And so that kind of just goes into the day of. And a shout out to Caitlin for being the best vlogger um, I could have asked for for my engagement. We have just been soaking up the engagement and with COVID and all the uncertainties, we just really haven't been pushing to wedding plan just yet. Yeah, engagement has to be by far the number one favorite of 2021. Number two would have to be adding Wardell into the family. We welcomed him to our family end of January. So it actually will be one year of having him. He's already one years old, but it will be one year of living at with us at the end of January. So I'm very excited for that. It has definitely been a rough, tough year having a puppy, but it has been so much fun and so rewarding. Um, I don't know if Clay could say the same about having Wardell as a favorite, but next up I would have to talk about my five minute journal. And this has definitely been a favorite just because it's something that I look forward to every morning and every night, just writing down my gratitude, what made today great, kind of reflecting on our day, what could have gone better. And it's just a very simple, journal it's nothing too crazy i've had other journals where you know you kind of have to write like a novel but this one is very quick straight to the point um you can get your affirmations in you can get all of your gratitude in so i highly recommend this journal i just keep it on my work desk i fill it out when i start work and then at the end of the night i just finish it off with this little journal next up would have to be my dyson this has always been a favorite. I personally like it because it's cordless. You don't have to worry about the cordless cords. This is my favorite attachment for it because you can vacuum the couch. I vacuum the stairs with it, which is, comes in really handy, especially because Wardell sheds like crazy. So I am constantly vacuuming, constantly, constantly swiffering. And so this, the Dyson is by far my favorite. I think any cordless vacuum is the way to go. Another one of my favorites that I just have to talk about because when COVID first hit, I was without this. And now that I am with it again, I just can't see myself without it. And I highly recommend this to pretty much anyone and it is eyelash extensions. Let me zoom you in. So up close and personal, but I love eyelash extensions. It makes my day so much faster, especially now these days I really don't wear makeup at all. And so if I do leave the house or need to look a little done up, all I do is put on my eyebrows and that's it. Eyelash extensions make it so easy for you to look alive and done up as soon as you wake up. And so I just love it because, you know, with this whole staying home, I just needed a way to make myself feel better and not so bummy by not getting ready at all. Since I am a naked mole rat without false lashes, it's something that makes me feel, um, you know, more put together in the morning. A couple more home products. Um, I feel like I'm always at home, so I'm just, I found a lot of things that I love for my home. Um, I've actually been using this one for a couple years and it's the Thieves Young Living Cleaning Concentrate, but I put it in here 
and I just use a cap full of the concentrate and fill the rest up with water and I use this for everything. I clean my countertops, table, oven top, everything. It cleans everything and disinfects. It's to me the best all-in-one cleaner ever. I think I still have like more than half the bottle and I've had this for like two years. The next household item, I found this because of TikTok, is my scrub daddy. I don't know what took me so long to use this, but I prefer, I mean, I've never tried it for washing my dishes, but I prefer to use this kind of scrub when I'm cleaning, like deep cleaning my kitchen, bathrooms, everything. The texture of it cleans better than like a regular sponge. So I really like it. It's very durable. Next up is my Nespresso. I use this thing literally every single morning. This is such a weird angle. I literally use this thing every single morning. Me and my fiance both use it twice a day. It's been the best thing to use during like working from home because I do want an espresso maker, but I'm very intimidated. So to get like espresso quality coffee, I love my Nespresso and we use like espresso pods for my iced coffees and then they have coffee pods for hot coffees which has been great recently since it's cold my must-have skincare products for 2021 the first one being reusable cotton rounds these have been a game changer you just wash them after you use them i have the little container i keep them in and i just I used to use one to two cotton rounds a day, you know, with my toner and throw it away. And I just felt like that was so wasteful having to go through all of that product. And so I found these on Amazon. I will link them down below. They're so easy. You just throw it in with like your whites that you wash and it comes with, I don't know how many, but it usually lasts me like about a week, week and a half. I probably should buy like a second pack just so I can have more. Absolutely recommend these. Next, it's messy. My number one nighttime moisturizer is the Fresh Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. And I've gone through two of these and I just love it. It's, it goes on really smoothly. It provides my skin moisture without leaving my skin greasy. Supposedly this is, you know, gonna preserve my youth in my skin, so that's always nice. But I really just like the texture. It goes on pretty luxurious feeling. Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Had to throw this, oh my arm looks weird. <laughs> Had to throw this in there because I love this stuff. It really cleared up my nose. However, I'm like breaking out on my forehead. That's another story. Tip for those, um, I know it says to use once or twice daily, but because it's an exfoliant, you really only wanna use this two to three times a week. I was using it every single day and I started to get little bumps and like my skin felt like dried out a little bit. So highly recommend if you are using this every day to scale it back a little bit. The last, skincare product I want to talk about is this mask and I love this thing. It's Innisfree Pore Clearing Mask and I use this whenever my skin is feeling yucky, like gross, congested, dry, anything really. Um, so I use this about once a week and it just looks like that and it really reminds me of the Glam Glow Super Mud Mask. So if you've tried that and you love that, I would give this a try because this is way cheaper. This was I think less than $20. And every time I use it afterwards, my skin just feels plump, hydrated, and just overall, it does something that makes my skin revive it a little bit. Oh, I forgot. We have a few hair care favorites. Just kidding, we just have one. It's this one. So the Orbe, what is it? Super Shine Light Moisturizing Cream. It's the one that looks like a gradient. I think there's like one that's like fully purple and I love this stuff. It does make my hair super soft. It maintains the softness for days after and I just love including this in my hair care routine and it also smells so good. I do have one hair care tool that 
definitely made its way into my top 21 favorites. And that is my Revlon hair brush. And there's a lot of hair in there, so I'm not gonna really show it. Almost every other TikTok video that's on my For You page is of people using a Dyson air wrap. And so I think I'm gonna have to get that this year just to see, you know? Like I have to, have to try it for myself. So, cause I love this thing. <sighs> I'm like a very no fuss hair type of person. Like most of the time I let my hair air dry. Um, now that I use this to kind of smooth out my hair, obviously it's way better. So I just use this to really just smooth out my hair once it's almost dry and kind of just flip out the ends to make it kind of like a blowout. So that's why I think I want to try the Dyson next. But this has been super, I don't know what the word I was going for, but this has been great in the meantime. We still have our Christmas tree up. I also wanted to show you guys, it is my new ring light. Let me show you, let me just close out my laptop real quick. That's my new ring light for my laptop, you just hit this button and it's a ring light for your calls. So this is what it looks like. As you can tell, I'm like in front of a wall. So it's very hard to get natural lighting. And so this ring light is super helpful. Just press the button and look at how great you look on camera. And this is what it looks like facing. So if you guys have or are working from home or take calls or whatever, I love it because I always struggle with really bad lighting in my video calls because I'm in front of a wall. And so this has been great and I don't have to worry about like where I'm at or which way my laptop is facing. Like I'll always have great lighting and great lighting as you know is a must. We're in my beauty room or beauty area now and you know I had to, oh, that's a favorite too. Okay, technically a favorite, but I didn't add it into my 21 favorites. But my 2021 favorite foundation of all was Rare Beauty Foundation. I absolutely love how this looks on my skin. It's super lightweight, but provides really good coverage. This one I'm almost out of, which is like my normal shade. I did buy this darker shade for when I was in Hawaii, but now my tan has faded and I'm pale again, um, but I can use this to mix other ones. But that's how much I love it. Moving on to my favorite concealer. Do not mind this drawer. I need to reorganize everything, so maybe I'll do that in a separate video. It's a hot mess in here. Favorite foundation is the Hourglass Vanish, and I have this shade Apricot. Of all my concealers, this definitely has to be my favorite just because it's super lightweight, looks really natural, has a natural finish to it, but it also covers really well. And lastly, hiding in the back is my favorite primer. If you've watched my videos, this should be no surprise. Can I grab it? Hold on. The Milk Hydro Grip Primer. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it, and this is a lot of primer. This is this is 1.52 ounces. I use this primer pretty much every time. It's like my go-to fail-safe primer. Definitely my favorite and most used primer of 2021. And how could I forget my most worn shoes? These ones are new. I got these ones in Hawaii. Um, these are my most worn shoes of 2021 Crocs. I highly recommend them. They're just so easy to slip on Super easy. Um, I wear these to walk the dogs run errands, etc. I Have gibbets that I bought. But I don't know where they are. But yeah My most worn shoes of 2021. All right So uh, that about wraps it up for my top 21 favorites of 2021 Let me know in the comments down below. What are some of your favorite things that you love? loved throughout 2021 or discovered. I know there was a lot because of TikTok. Speaking of TikTok, one of my goals for 2022 is to post once a day on there. So if you're not already, go ahead and follow me. I'll put the link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody has a prosperous and wonderful 2022. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.